Uh, right. Did I just fuck myself? <laughs> fuck me, right? <laughs> welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. <laughs> oh, okay. No, well, that's how we're starting that. it now. All right, welcome back, did everybody. Did I just fuck myself? <laughs> yeah, I totally did. Apparently, wow. these platforms fall and don't come back. I didn't totally screw myself, but I really, really could have. <laughs> Okay. Wow. You are ready for- Whoa, no! Alright, here's my question. Do you think the platform should come back? Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. It, I mean, in a platformer game, they generally do, right? Like, yeah, even if it is a little difficult, they do at least give you that. And I think later on they do. I okay. think it's just this this zone or this world oh. where they- That's not so Whew. bad. That's, that's a, a glimpse at what's yet to come. The later levels of this game is all that. Yeah. Like, all of them. Alright, so from a design perspective, do you feel Ooh. that they could have done a little bit more with these beginning levels Ooh. in terms of getting from point A to point B, kind of like as you're doing, or or do you feel this is satisfactory? Uh, for the most part, I think it's actually pretty satisfactory. I think if they... And, and maybe I'm just missing a lot of the gold hearts or the recovery hearts and, and such. Um... But I think they could have hidden more stuff, maybe. Mm. Maybe more stockpiles of these bones, you know? Yeah, that's true. Um, but otherwise, I think it's... The levels are, are generally quick enough to where they're okay as is. As, okay. as it is. Um, I've, I've, I'm pretty engaged throughout the entirety of the level. Yeah. Don't die. Chris. I'm fine. I'm fine. Dude, you've seen me play Mario Maker. I know what's... <laughs> What's up? Still haven't forgiven you. For uh, Mariovania. Yep. <laughs> I fixed it. I made it Great. better. Oh, good. Good. So it doesn't eat people's souls? Yeah. I'm soulless, by the way, for those who are concerned. You didn't need my Mariovania level to do that. That's true. I am gay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? What is it? I don't I, know. I... I, I <laughs> I, I feel thing? like that's a uh, some sort of commentary on, on homosexuality, Cujo. <laughs> this ain't the time or place for that. No. Time for caveman and caveman only. Uh, <laughs> We're caveman. Anyway. Apparently caveman um, is also what southern trucker. Caveman. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, real quick. Do you... Woo. Woo. Oh, Woo. that's... You're supposed to keep running. <laughs> Later, I could kill him, but well, it's oh okay. It's here we are. We're at the uh, the boss because we've got the little. Oh, dead zone. okay. Oh, also we didn't mention this during the last boss battle, but at the start of every boss battle, there's this little cutscene where, you know, the dinosaur uh, runs off with a maiden. And that's maiden. presumably actually why we're actually fighting. Oh, that's right. I hate oh. this boss. Oh man. Oh man. This is another one. Whoa! This is another yep, one this is why I hate this where boss. Where Cujo would lose his shit. Alright, so we got it flying around. We have its little babies throwing shit at you, Ooh, which oops. is both a blessing and a curse because some of them are usable items, some of them are just rocks. We have his dash attack. So you're really trying to account for about three different things in this spot alone. Yeah, it's, it's a very big. Uh, Oh, focus, sorry, four things. There's shit, there shit falling from the skies. You also notice there's little leaves kind of flying across the screen, which, you know, it's very minor, but they kind of prove to be a distraction, too. Yeah. I think that was one of the things it's that's been it's, it's weird, because it's only moving at, like, two-thirds the speed of everything else that's falling, except for these rocks. Um, so it really does kind of draw your eye. The motion does. One thing I do like, though, is that... Oh. Did I do it? Uh, hit him... Chop his head off? I don't know. All right. Oh, there we go. I guess I did okay. it. Okay. I remember this being a lot more challenging. But one thing I do like about it... Yeah, fuck yeah. One thing I do like about it is that that center platform, it's lower. So it encourages the player to jump over the pterodactyl when you're um, on the left or the right. Yeah. Now, it's the that middle platform is just low enough to make it very challenging to jump over. Yeah. Him while he's passing by, but is still tall enough to actually achieve it. Um, I, I like that. It increases the intensity. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, this is where shit starts on. getting really uh, interesting. <sighs> it's like a, a little mini game. That you can still die in. Yeah. So it's I, not a mini game. 
What is it's a level. Many games you can die in. I don't know why. You I don't think... know why. I, I, it's, I think Turtles in Time or something had one of these oh, sort of levels. Yeah, and you could die in that too. Yeah, and I don't, I don't like these. Personally. Why? Okay, okay. Here's then. Here's the question. What about them do you not like? Because I think it detracts from what the original concept for the game is. Like, if I'm playing Turtles in Time, it's a it's a game about beating the shit out of the foot <laughs> and having pizza. And, and, and rocking it with, with April O'Neil, you know? Right. It's not about, hey, let's get on these flying jet bikes and go flying for a second and kill them up in the air. But why does that detract from the game? It just feels unnecessary. I mean, it, it feels, well, it feels okay. like filler. It, it is unnecessary, but I would actually argue that it adds value to the experience. Uh, well, there I go. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop! <laughs> Great job, Chris. Water physics. Oh. Gotta get used to it now. Um, I would say that it actually adds value to the game most of the time because it, 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 it changes things. It gives you variety. It changes things up in a way that you least expect. Or maybe not least expect, but uh, can have fun with. Um, Just because you said least expect. Now, every anytime I make a game like this, I'm going to put the Spanish Inquisition in there. Great. <laughs> Thank you for I'll, that I'll, I'll 30%. Play. Oh, it's great. <laughs> great. Okay, yeah. Real fucking clever, Kuja. <laughs> I'm oh. on point today, guys. Not the spitting crabs. So, uh, maybe and maybe going back to the, the minigame thing, because um, I do want to talk about that. <laughs> maybe that's something that kind of changes per person, you know? Because in Turtles in Time, when, when I went on that, like, jet bike, like, rush through Cyber City. Oh, it wasn't a jet bike, it was a sewer surfing it's, thing. Well, there was the sewer surfing thing, but there was a cyber highway. Oh, was there? Okay. Yeah. And when that happened, I thought that was the coolest goddamn thing in the world. Mm. So as a kid, I thought that was amazing. It, it made that experience exciting for me. Okay. Uh, then I have a question. Sure. And this is not saying that this game couldn't be marketed towards kids, but with the difficulty being what it is, mm -hmm. what age group do you think this was made for? This was intended for? I think this... Hmm. That is a really good question, actually. Because it has so many things that could be, like, nostalgic design. You right. Know? Um, but at the same time, I feel like I mean, most people that are going to play it might be, like, 16 to 18 year old oh. people... <laughs> Not quick enough. I like that design element, though. It's just barely faster than you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there's a lot of that what going on. What the hell are life. these crabs? I'm sorry. Everything else I can sort of understand. What's with the head-pooping crabs? It's prehistoric crabs, man. Who knows what crabs were like back then? I don't know that they shat out of their head. Why not? Because... Well, if you could shoot a spike out of your head, wouldn't you want that? I would want that. Would it regenerate? I mean, obviously, that's what these guys are doing. You're asking the tough questions, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna do a question of the day early. Well, no, we'll save that for the end. Yeah, Actually, we got another I, like minute and a half. Yeah, I know. I, I was gonna say. Uh, well, you know, we're getting that. Ooh. Oh. I bet you that just took me nowhere. I love the. Yep, down. that took me back at the beginning. Great, great job, Chris. Yeah, oh. You done did it, e didn't you? E <sighs> e okay, so back to the mini game conversation. Yes. So, even though that was something that I loved as a kid, I don't think that that design is necessarily just for kids. That's fair. Um, I think, especially those of us that grew up in that era of games, I think that even gives us a sense of nostalgia. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, but even that aside, I think those mini games can work without requiring the feeling of nostalgia to work. Yeah. Pl okay. I guess I, my other question is, if it's a quote-unquote mini game, mm -hmm. should you be able to die playing it? Absolutely. Because really. What's the point of it otherwise? The distraction? No, you don't. A break with if, familiarity. If your mini game is a distraction, then it shouldn't be long. It shouldn't be in your game. Oh, that's fair. If your mini game is fun and challenging, then absolutely it <laughs> actually, should be there. Actually, I do have a really good example of that right there. Yeah. Triple Triad and Final Fantasy VIII, the card game that you get to play. 
I, I never Fantasy played VIII, eight, but no, it's fine. Final Fantasy VIII had a a uh, a card game <laughs> that people fucking loved, <laughs> and apparently, I, and I have to find it. They did uh, find a way to get all the game data, or they just recreated the game mm -hmm. that you could buy, like just online like somewhere as a standalone. As a thing? standalone. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna go that way. All right, question of the day. Is it that time? Yeah. Really? Right there. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, so question of the day is, do you think that um, mini games, ooh, mini games like the one that we went through in this level have um, a place in games like this? Do you think that they add value or do you think they take away value? So that's, that's the question. That is the question. Whoa! Hold on, we'll, we'll hold oh, on. I took a wrong ending. turn. Oh, oh, I no, can't no, dash, no, I can't no, dash, no, I can't no, dash. No, no, oh. no, no. That's All the right. reason I'm going to talk about. This? Okay. Well, we'll get back to this in the next episode. Until then, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Yep. Every time, I'll do it.